Man, I've been waiting on this a long time. I could not wait for this series to drop. We had a delay and it's finally here and I finally finished it. So let's get into it. My name is Brennan Keith Avery and this is just my opinion. Hey, what's up guys? Thank you so much for tuning in to my opinion slash review for The Punisher from Marvel Studios Season 1 on Netflix. I really do appreciate you tuning in. But before we get into this review, go ahead and help your boy out. Go ahead and click that subscribe button to become one of my subscribers. Also click the bell so you can be notified when I make uploads and also give me that thumbs up. Let's see if we can get this video to 100 likes. Okay. So if you've been watching my videos and uh, for a long time, you know that I am a Marvel head. I love comics in general. I like Marvel more than DC. So I'm just really like really big into Marvel. I'm sorry about that. I thought I, somebody was coming through my door, but I love Marvel to death. Um, I saw the first Punisher that came out, I think in 2004, I thought it was pretty decent. And then we had Punisher Warzone that came out like 08 or 09 and the action was much better, but the acting was trash. And I always said to myself, okay, if we can get a combination of those two films and just bind them together, then we can finally have a Punisher uh, that is wor uh, worth everyone's time. That is just, you could say that is worthy. Um, I've seen, of course, all the other Marvel Netflix shows, Daredevil, Daredevil season two, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage. Uh, Iron Fist and Defenders. I really did enjoy Defenders season one, not Defenders, uh, uh, Daredevil season one and season two. I thought that was great. Uh, I really did enjoy Jessica Jones as well. That was good too. Luke Cage was off the chain. It really did speak for black people. I'm like, yeah, you know, uh, but I did love the very beginning of the first half of the season a lot more than the second half because there was two villains. I love Cottonmouth, but the other guy, you know, he was okay. But overall, I really did enjoy that series. But with uh, Iron Fist, that was just garbage. I barely got through it. I was just like, oh my gosh, please just get better. And it really never got better. And the Defenders was okay. Uh, but I was slightly disappointed, you know, in the Defenders. I mean, it wasn't bad, but I just wanted a lot more. And one thing that frustrated me was that instead of having 13 episodes like all the other series, you know, it was only like eight, you know, so that was, it was like eight, nine, or well, eight or 10. I can't remember, but that was kind of a letdown. But now we finally have the Punisher guys. And of course, John Bernthal, um, the guy that plays Shane in The Walking Dead, um, well, I'm not going to spoil that for you, but play Shane in the Walking Dead is now Frank Castle, the guy that's going around and punishing everybody. And if you've seen the Marvel Netflix shows, if you've seen Daredevil season two, you know that he made his uh, debut in Daredevil season two in like the first four episodes. And, you know, he, he was kind of sprinkled in and there, you know, throughout the series. And then this Punisher right here, this is post Daredevil season two. This is after that, you know, maybe like a year later, because we got a brief synopsis of his backstory in Daredevil season two and those first few episodes. And then he kind of was doing a number of other things, helping out Elektra and Daredevil. And for the most part, he thought that he was done. He thought that he served his purpose and that he, you know, served justice and got his revenge and, you know, dealt out his punishment and killed the people that was responsible for killing his family. But in this Punisher right here, the new one, uh, we find out that, you know, he's not done, that there are still people that are involved with uh, the death of his family. And of course, that pisses him off. He's like, no, I want to punish everybody. You know, I want all them to die. When John Bernthal was first cast as the Punisher, I wasn't upset, but I wasn't like excited either. I was like, okay, I like John Bernthal, but I really just don't see him as the Punisher. But after watching, uh, you know, Daredevil season two, I was like, okay, yeah, he is the Punisher, but definitely after uh watching this series right here and one thing in particular that i learned about his character is that like you know when he's engaged in fighting or whatever doing his action sometimes he would just get like an adrenaline rush and would like would scream and be like Ugh! and i re <laughs> that made he, he sounded much better than i did but it was just something that i really did like in this series it just i was like yeah okay you know get it or whatever so i really did enjoy that and whatever he knocked that aspect out of the park 
And when I was going into this, something that I thought that I would expect was like a ton of action. I thought like every episode or at least every other episode, he was going to be breaking arms, breaking legs and breaking faces and blowing people's heads off. And yes, that was inside of this series, but it wasn't that much. I mean, there this this whole series, the whole 13 episodes, there is not that much action. And that's not a gripe. That's not a complaint because the um, the series still worked. But I'm surprised that, you know, it did not have that much action in it. But I still enjoyed the series so much because of the action, the family dynamic, the characters, the relationships that they built and the overall story. I will say that the thing that I love the most about this series is the story. I mean, because while you thought you already knew everything, they kept it kept the story kept getting deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. You know, with, uh, you know, s- certain flashbacks here and there about when they was over in Afghanistan, you know, how he served as a marine and you know there were just like a lot of intricate things that you know the in the with in the plot as well that just you know kept getting thicker and thicker and thicker throughout each episode because i, I want i will say this as well after each episode i you can tell that it was ending i was like man that is just like a perfect spot for this episode to end and it would just end i was like okay great you know i can't wait to watch more unfortunately for me i was so busy since friday doing a number of other things that i just couldn't binge watch this whole series the way i wanted to but if you are to binge watch this series you're not going to be disappointed it's a great series even if you haven't seen any of the other shows that's okay you can pick up right here if you're just wanting to get into the marvel netflix shows or whatever as far as it's being uh tied in with the rest of the marvel cinematic universe there aren't any you know blazing uh easter eggs that i saw stand out of course it does have other characters or a character or two that popped up in more of the marvel netflix shows but you know there isn't anything about the battle of new york or anything like that not that that's a great complaint i kind of like that they don't do that and i feel that they're gonna mesh all the shows with the movies like after uh we see excuse me avengers affinity war uh part two and that's perfectly fine let these develop on their own and you know we can have a giant massive collaborative uh team up later um so i love the story uh, of this series the most Um, of course i do like the actor john bernthal playing frank castle the punisher there are other people as well um in this series that did a great job well um there's this one character by the name of david lieberman played by ebon moss bacharach um, and also a character named Dina Medina, played by Amber Rose Reva or whatever. Um, th- those two did a great job as well. They have a lot of screen time. I can honestly say they popped up in every episode and they did a great job as well. I really do hope that they come back because I was really attached to their characters, especially uh, Ebon Moss, the guy that played David Lieberman. What he had going on with, uh, you know, his family or whatever, I thought that was great. Every uh, bit of emotion that he had to go through in this series, I felt his pain and I understood exactly where he was coming from. And I was like, man, dang, if I was in his uh, shoes, I would probably feel it, be feeling the exact same way, too. And his besides Frank Castle's character, his character had a lot of growth as well, too, without it being ridiculous or over the top, because, you know, he was confronted um you know one character made a certain remark that he overheard or whatever and so i would say that eventually he kind of did have to get his hands dirty as well there is another character as well by the name of curtis hoyle played by jason r moore um i've never heard of him before um this is the first time i've ever seen him acting on screen and i think he did a great job as well i liked everything that he had to deliver um as far as the villains are concerned in this uh, in this series i thought that was uh, very well uh put together too um, I, ooh, I was about to say a spoiler, but I don't want to spoil it. But I'll just say as far as like, you know, what's to come next? You know, there, this film doesn't I'm not film, but this series doesn't like leave you on a cliffhanger or whatever. But it is the way it should uh, on a high note. But at the same time, you know, you you there are some characters like, man, I cannot wait to see this character again, whether they're good or bad in season two, because I know they're going to wreck shop. I know they're going to kick ass. I know that they're going to do the series justice. And I just can't I, I, I can't wait for more so i like the stories i like the character um i like the plot in the whole series as well it got thicker and thicker and thicker and then it comes to the action like i said at the very beginning of this uh, review there is not that much action in this series but when the action is there the action 
hits hard and it is very brutal. I mean, a lot of time. I mean, I watch a lot of action and adventure and stuff, and that's one of my favorite genres, especially if it has to do with comic book films and movies and things like that. And this is a comic book thing uh, series, and so you know, a person like me would kind of be like, okay, I've seen it all, and you really can't impress me. You know, I, I've seen it all, but no, there was still some breaks and blasts and explosions and things like that that still was new to me and fresh and felt new. Some like some things that I've just never experienced before. Some of it was subtle. Some of it was it was completely brutal and i was like oh damn stop it you know but it wasn't too much over the top this is the punisher you know he's gonna go around punishing people and kicking ass and he does kick a lot of ass um as far as like you know to be honest with you this not this isn't my to me there is a big difference between best and favorite or whatever when you say something is your favorite that's your biased opinion or whatever but if you say something is best you're looking at it more um, from an objective point of view whereas your favorite is more of a subjective point of view so the punisher necessarily is not my favorite but in my opinion this is the best out of all of them it's better than daredevil it's even better than luke cage or whatever and you probably thought well you just gonna like luke cage because you're black and they got black people in there no luke cage is my favorite because i was able to relate to those characters a ton much more than anybody else because i'm black and that series had predominantly black characters so I was able to relate to them more so it that was my favorite but i will say that the punisher uh, is the best it is right up there with daredevil one and two uh as far as you know a, a from a subjective standpoint as well and like i said at the beginning if you've never encountered these these characters before that's perfectly fine i love them and i think you will like them too um if i had to rate the punisher series out of a one out of ten i would give it a nine out of ten yes a nine out of ten and guys that is just my opinion for the punisher series on netflix have you seen it yet have you binge watched this or watched a few episodes here and there each day since it came out november 17th last week you know um did i did you like it did you hate it did i turn you on did i turn you off do you agree with me or do you disagree with me let me know in the comment section below let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing if you like this video go ahead and give me a thumbs up and if you don't like the video that's perfectly fine just leave me a comment below why and still give me the thumbs up since you're watching this on youtube go ahead and subscribe to my youtube channel uh, so you become one of my subscribers get all the content that i have to provide excuse me for spitting you can also click the bell so you can be notified when i do make uploads also guys uh check me out on my website just my i would really appreciate it i do have written reviews uh for the latest films as well that you can check it out bookmark it and also guys look me up on social media facebook instagram and twitter all that good stuff is right there at the bottom of the screen and i made it very easy for you guys by providing a link to all that good stuff down in the description box below but guys i just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion slash review for the punisher netflix series by marvel studios starring john bernthal as the punisher aka frank castle and before you go don't forget that my name is brennan keith avery and that's just my opinion peace